Hi, I'm Melissa, and tonight we are doing an eBay shipping video. I sold about maybe 20 items and then had some website orders. A few people wanted them shipped before the holiday weekend. It is President's Day at around 8 p.m., and so I got those off Saturday. So I'm going to scroll back and look for the first item, which are a pair of pants. I pulled all of my items in this Ikea bag. And we are looking for a pair of Marina pants. So the first item I'm sure I'll have either a picture on a screen or I'll just tell you what they are. I found these at the bins, I want to say, maybe a regular Goodwill. I've had them for quite some time, but just listed them and they sold almost immediately for $49.99. Now the thing is I have a 30% off sale right now that ends tonight. I'm sure I'll run another sale here soon. Anytime I want to push inventory out, I run a sale. 30% is, is pretty hefty for me personally, but um, I wanted to take advantage of my time and your time and have a bunch in this shipping video. So, these didn't have a size label, but they measured basically like an extra large and I have a, an identical pair in white that I priced slightly higher because they are in pristine condition. And not that these weren't in pristine condition, just going through my tissue papers. I'm gonna go with the light blue. But white, it's really hard to find a good pair of white pants that aren't see-through. Okay. Got some new stickers, business cards, some sheet masks. I have my whole my whole display here. I haven't yet ordered new, new tissue paper, but soon. <laughs> I told myself maybe, maybe in March. Okay. So she paid $9.99 to ship these. Let's see, we have pink ribbon. I think we'll do it pink. It's gonna go with that kind of burgundy color, but I think the pink will work. And I am using, what is this now called? USPS Brown Advantage. So this should be about $7, unless she specifically chose priority now, which we will check. That looks nice. Uh, we will do you are enough. You are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. And because it is still winter, we are going to do a you are enough with some pink penguins. And then on the back, it says, never forget how wildly capable you are with just kind of an abstract. And let's give her a full sheet mask in pearl. Finally got those back in stock. So many fun poly mailers right now. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the pink rainbow. It matches nicely. Not perfectly, but nicely. And I'm going to guess it's going to weigh about two pounds or we'll round up to two pounds. Oops. Have to wait till that zeroes out. <laughs> 1.4, so we will round up. And Danielle's in Ohio, did I say that? I think I said that. Okay, and um, print label, it is 6.09. When I didn't check how much she paid for shipping should have done that. I'm assuming $9.99 because usually I just flat jewelry is like $3.99 to $4.99, mostly $4.49 to $4.49, and anything two pounds is about $9.99. Okay. I have my printer settings all wacky. And let's put this on my 
Turbo 450, which needs a different label size right there. It would help if I, oh, there we go. I was going to say if I replace the labels, but they have labels in them. And this will be picked up by my mail carrier tomorrow. Thank you, Danielle. Lightly toss that. It's a nice thing about most things I sell at this point. I'm sure as I start to feel better and better, hopefully better and better, that I will start selling breakable items. We'll see. Okay, next in the list. Whoop, went too far. Are some sheets. These I did find at the bins. I found a bunch of sheets. And I'm going to need a very big bag. And I washed them and looked them over really well. And they are uh, Magnolia Hearth. Hearth Hand with Magnolia. I can't imagine them being called anything else. And here they are. When I stickered them, I put one of two, two of two. And I sold them for $22.49 plus shipping. Let's do, instead of tissue paper, let's do some vintage ribbon. Just a nice, and this has some birds on it. I don't know that you'll be able to see. Let's see if we need that much. Just to keep it together. It's a lot, a lot of ribbon there. make one loop so she can just pull it out. Okay. And I honestly don't know what she paid for shipping. I'm assuming this is one of the few items I did not use flat rate for. Let's see, view order details. She paid $13.60 and she is in Vermont. I know where she is. So let's see. <clears throat> we'll give her the same. And one kind word, one kind word can warm three winter months since she is so, so up north. You know what I meant. Might have to get a bigger poly mallard. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's a 12 by 15. This one might work. So we have to round up to four. Now let's see what our options are. I don't usually ship items four pounds. And this is probably a 15 by 12 by, I'm gonna go five. Okay, so ground advantage is $10. Uh, can't get it into any kind of flat rate padded mailers. FedEx. FedEx is 12, UPS is 14, regular priority mail is 16. So we are going to leave it here. And I'm going to refund her a bit of shipping. I noticed on my mobile device, my smartphone, the send refund is slightly different. They made it so much easier. Normally you'd have to like scroll and scroll and scroll. If you've done this a million times, you know what I'm talking about. Now they've put it like a separate page. So you just have to pick the reason and then a separate page and so much better. Give her back a little bit of money and print my label. And it went to my other printer. Isn't that funny? And that should default right away. There's no fixing the label there. <laughs> there is putting the label in though.
There we go. I was using labels to label some bins in the back, and so I just pulled out the whole spool last night. I've been sleeping in a little bit, but then I've been working, well, the last few nights past midnight, but again, it's no big deal. Thank you, Catherine. I hope you love your sheets. Next item. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, Sonia or Sonia, did she have anything else? And I know we have a few people that ordered multiple items. So she did not. And it is jewelry. So give me a second. Here we go. Jewelry over here. This is a slipata. Silp. How, how are we pronouncing this? Why doesn't it say the title? I'm going to have to go back a page. Silpata. Silpata necklace. I am going to, with sterling silver, I always put, did I put, I usually put that I'll clean it before shipping unless somebody likes the patina. This has such a pretty patina. And I, I've captured it. I photographed it with the patina. I will clean this unless you tell me otherwise. She didn't tell me otherwise. Okay. So I'm going to pause and clean this. I'll show you the sterling silver cleaner I have. It is great stuff. Highly, highly recommend. It comes with like a little mesh thing. It is Haggerty flatware, flatware, silver dip. <laughs> I haven't said the word flatware for a while. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, we have a shiny necklace now, so I will be shipping this. Did I see what she paid? This is throwing me off. Like I can't see her. Maybe I have this in a weird switch to advanced shipping. Do I want to do that? Sure. Can I see? Now I can see. Okay, Sonia is in Texas. She paid $39.49 with a discount, and her shipping is $4.99. Huh. So basic shipping. I can't see the information. Interesting. Um, I thought these bags, I had them custom made. They say you are enough and then you matter. I really, really like them. I'm just not sure yet if I like them more than boxes because they cost about the same as boxes. I don't like that, see? I don't like that. I had really cool Valentine's Day boxes, but Valentine's Day is over. wrap it like this first so it doesn't this isn't really a piece to get tangled because it's so hammered and the loops are so big it's not a fine gauge chain and then if we roll it and maybe just tie it with a little piece of ribbon little bow and then slip it into the outer packaging See, now it looks, it looks better than just a loose necklace. I think I like that. Anyway, we'll still wrap this. It's like a, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of opening things to get to your item. Let's do a classic black and white. We will cut this a little smaller because this is a big sheet. That'll be good. A silver dot. Keep it classic here. Yesterday, I officially finished listing everything in the house 
And when I say that, I mean all the stuff I bought for the listing. Now there's some items that when we bought the house needed to be listed on Facebook Marketplace because of the size, but there were a few items. I have maybe a dozen or so more items that came with the house that I will sell on eBay. But they're not jewelry and they're not clothing. They're just random figurines or whatever they are. So those I still need to list. But past, past that, we are getting to the point where I am going to, where does she live? Texas. It's a little warmer in Texas. So let's go with, the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. With like a citrus slice. And then there's a little pineapple on the back. We will have to, I might go by myself. We'll see how Bear's feeling. Um, I have not thrifted from this location. And this location is not that far from our other location. So I could just go back to the normal thrift shops. My normal thrift shops. And the bins aren't far. We'll probably do bins. I really like the bins. Be a next week project. Three ounces. I gave myself one year to settle in and it is only February and we moved at the very, very end of April. So officially in my mind, May. The price is 402 for shipping and that is going USPS ground advantage. So uh, we're starting to to know where things are and label things. I am. Have a dresser. I know what drawers contain socks. It's a big, a big win here. <laughs> You're like, it took you eight months to do that. We moved into a fully furnished home, fully furnished in the eighties. And then the people who lived here prior to it had a second, this was their second house. So they brought their stuff too. So there's a lot of stuff. And then we had our stuff. There's a lot of sorting. Okay, next up, let's just grab an item. Love that. We're going to have a pair of, who makes this company? It's not Kate Hudson, I don't think. I think it's Reese Witherspoon um, produces this company or owns stock in it at least. And where? Did she pay for these? Did you pay for these yet? She did, she just paid today. Okay, Susan, did Susan purchase any other items? She did not. Okay, Draper jeans, Draper jeans, um, modal pajamas. She purchased these for $19 on best offer. They're brand new, you'd be like, huh, that's too low of a price. But yeah, no, I got, this bit more than what, what they were going for. Look at her, a nice cheery print of the birds. And I'm okay with what they went for. So that's all that matters. She paid Well, that's going to be annoying to switch back to advanced shipping every time I want to see what they paid. Um, $9.99 for shipping because again, this is going to be not first rate, which, first class, which I don't even know if they call it first class anymore. It is too much. And she is in Wisconsin. Don't, don't mind me cheating. Somebody sent me this. Thank you to the person who sent me this. Wisconsin. probably quite cold right now. It was pretty cold last night. It was 40, I think it was 42. Now we have gotten into the 30s, um, but it was still pretty cold. Our house kept at 768. I had the heat set at 65 and it didn't kick on. So that's pretty good. But when you're used to it being, I mean, during the day it's been 
70s, 80s, and then suddenly it's like 40 degrees. I know, I shouldn't complain. Okay, we can give her one of the winter cards and a eye patch mask, eye mask, eye mask. And this should fit in a regular poly mailer. Look how fun these are. These are from Happy Supplies, Happy with an I. I'm sure I found them on Amazon. Usually I don't pay too much more than $10 for a hundred. I know you can get them a lot cheaper if you go with the, the regular colored. But it's mostly for me. Keeps me motivated, keeps me having fun shipping them. Okay, and the dimensions got weirdly one by one by one. This is definitely an eight by 10 by three. Will it change the price? It did change the price. Uh, my price is seven fifteen. I don't know what happened with one by one by one, but that'd be a very tiny set of pajamas. Good. Nope. Oh, okay. So anytime I do advanced on the other screen, it defaults to my other printer. Interesting. And then I have to go through all of the properties of setting it up. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't love that, but I kind of need to see the person's name. I will say the, say the name first. I'm going to forget how to do this. Thank you, Susan. I also moved my trash can for no good reason because you can't even see. Oh, let's just pick an item. A red necklace. Who bought the red necklace? And did you buy anything else? Sharon. Sharon bought quite a few, so I'm gonna, gonna not pick that item. Pretend, pretend I didn't pick that one. I think Sharon bought like five items. Okay, we have a pink sequined apron. I just listed this. A lot of these things I just listed. Imagine that. I haven't been listing for like six months and then I list the things sell. And this is Oh, I should be able to say her name. I recognize her name. Yelena. Yelena, I think it is. Um, thank you for shopping with me, Yelena. She got the 30% off coupon. She would have paid $18.99 plus shipping, except she didn't. She paid. Does it matter what she paid? Do you care? She paid with shipping because it takes the discount, 19.28. So she paid $19 minus about $6 plus shipping. Well, that's too confusing to do. Um, let's give her the bright pink to match. Okay, now I can't see where she's located here. If I get her just shipping label. Okay, I'm on the advanced. She is in New York. But then if I go back to basic shipping, it'll default to the correct printer. Huh, okay. Just learning all of the new systems since I haven't done this for a little bit. Not in front of the camera, at least. Having good systems in place is amazing. <laughs> Finally got, now that we have the windows in, like fully in everything done with the windows um, and carpet and everything's vacuumed and my husband did an amazing job. It's, it's so much easier finding stuff and we're not just constantly moving stuff. So that's not big enough. And I know exactly where things are, mostly. If you would have asked me about a month and a half ago, I would have said no, but I can tell you where my extra tape rolls are, which is fantastic. I needed that. I don't do well in chaos. 
but sometimes you need to live in chaos a little bit. Okay, let's give her one of the citrus slices and let's give her a full sheet mask. Don't fall out. That might be my screen, my thumbnail. It's falling out, isn't it? No, it's not. Okay, enough thumbnails. Let's do, keeping with the bright pink, come back. Look how fun that is. And this is the same happy supplies. So a lot of companies doing poly mailers now. Has anybody else noticed? I have definitely noticed it. I don't recognize so many of them. 10 to 20 years ago, there was like two people in the game. 12. Okay. Edit. 12 ounces. Not one by one by one. We'll say that is an 8 by 10, not 8 by 18. Um, by 2. Ground Advantage, 532. So that's okay. And now I probably have, there's probably at least 20 different companies of poly mailers that I'm familiar with. So I'm sure there's a ton more. And most of them are pretty decent. I've gotten a couple where you're like, mm, they're a little shady. They're just not as thick. The mill, the mill needs to be over too for, for my liking. Thank you so much, Alina. Okay. Some things fell out on the floor, so we're gonna put those back in. And this is a Arism shirt a white undershirt kind of thing. And I think Uniqlo, is that how you pronounce that brand? Uniqlo, Uni Uniqlo. Um, and Loring purchased this, and I believe they only purchased this. And they paid $26.99 minus the discount of 30% plus shipping. So that's what they paid. I'm gonna tape this a little bit. And I've had this on for a while. This isn't one of the items I just listed. These seem to be doing pretty well. And by a while, I probably mean maybe two months or so. Okay, so Lori. Print shipping lives in Switch to Advanced. Can I just make up where they live? New York, New York City. Interesting. D don't mind me Googling the address because I recognize the zip code. I swear I don't do this for everybody. I do this for some people. The zip codes I recognize. The 90210s, but there, there's other ones I'm just going to tell you. Um, okay, here's the apartment. We have to dream a little bit, right? Yeah, it's a nice apartment. They say what it would rent for. So it hasn't sold in a while. It must be a rental. Very nice though. Okay. Some ribbon. Will this ribbon fit? Is this package slightly thinner, I think? Oh, look at that. It will fit. And I'm pretty sure I did find this at the bins, which meant it moved with us. <laughs> a lot of the stuff moved with us. Stuff I knew I could, I could, this is a very easy thing to ship, to list. I didn't even have to take it out of the package. Um, let's do a cheetah print. It's very light. Okay, now go back to basic shipping, yes. Okay, 
five ounces. Uh, not one by one by one. I wonder if it doesn't want to switch over. Eight by ten by two. And my cost is eight dollars. That can't be. Priority mail. It, it defaulted to. Now I have to go find USPS ground advantage four dollars and forty seven cents. I'm very much looking forward to going thrifting just because I have it in so long. When my mom was here, we went to an antique shop not far from here, but everything was a gajillion dollars. And it's not at the bins. Well, I mean, it might be now. I haven't been in a while, but. But it is nice that almost everything I have, truly everything I have for sale is for sale. All of my eBay items. Like I said, with the exception of like a few little figurine things. I also have to find a jeweler. I found one up the street. I'm wondering if they take scrap metals because my last jewelry shop closed and I have some scrap silver and gold. I could sell it on eBay, but I prefer to sell it um, and have them test it. It's marked, but you never know. Okay, we are doing bras. This is headed to Stacy. Let's quickly make sure Stacy didn't purchase anything else. Um, I don't know where I got these, but these are brand new. One was a size large, one was a size extra large. She is in Tennessee. And it did default again to one by one by one. Uh, and I, I sold them together because they were so close when I did the measurements. We have done the cats. This is pizza, so like obviously whimsical. Not that Stacy has cats, but... She likes whimsical things, I'm going to assume. Come on, finger. There we are. Tomorrow we have to go into Sarasota for a doctor's appointment for Bear. his gastroenterologist and it'll be the first time we've seen this doctor since the surgery and it is seeming to go better month to month definitely better sometimes day to day it's a little hard to stay but I, I would solidly call it better and let's do that doesn't really match pink matches we're just sticking with the pink here so I'll be curious to see what he says. And then we see the surgeon, I think next week. And it'll be the first time we see the surgeon since surgery. Where are you, Tennessee? That's our second person in Tennessee. So they will get the citrus slice and the you are enough. And let's do, let's do the bright of roses. Yeah, roses. I planted some grass seed about three days ago and I looked at the weather and I was like, oh, we'll have some light rain. That'll be perfect. Not that day, like the next day or whatever. And then it poured for two days. <laughs> the seed looks to be in place for the most part. I'm like, oh, yikes. It saved me from watering it, but This one is, I'm going to say, 8 by 6 by 2. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, my cost is four thirty-eight. Did I say what she spent on this? I have no idea. I want to say somewhere between $15 and $19. I accidentally downloaded the QR code. I don't need the QR code. I appreciate the option. I don't know what it does. I know what QR codes do in general, but 
I don't know how I would, maybe if I went to the post office and didn't have a printer here. Thank you, Stacy. Next item. Life is good sleep shirt. I did just list this. A purple sticker on it. It's purple. And this is headed to Gail. It's coffee cups, but I'm sticking with the cats because I just cut that paper and it's cute. This one also has purple. So stinking cute. And she paid, see I can't see what she paid on this page. I have to go back. She paid $18.99, but minus 30%, but plus shipping. That's what she paid. And now it's defaulted to three pounds. <laughs> I'm sure I put in three pounds. It is headed to Illinois. And we're going with the pink. We're gonna run out of pink ribbon here. It's fine, I have so much pink ribbon. Illinois is kind of cold, so she will get a winter card. And of course, the Yorna. And on the eye patches. And let's go with butterflies. Or popsicles. Popsicles are kind of fun because they kind of match that whimsical feel. Popsicle print way back in the day, maybe, I don't know, four, four years ago, not that, not that long ago, but in poly mailers, it's a long time. I bought, I bought definitely a thousand. I might've bought 2,000 of these. They were in a really good deal. And I'm finally, I probably have about a hundred left. Okay, it's eight ounces, not three pounds, shocking. And it defaulted to eight by eight by six, so I definitely, that in there. Ground Advantage, $4.47. Yeah, besides to see the popsicle, popsicle print go, I do wish I would have kept at least one sheet. I'm a hoarder, I'm a tissue paper hoarder, of um, every tissue paper. That would have been really hard to do. Upon moving, upon tissue paper, I would have had to like laminate it or something, but I have had a lot of different tissue papers. Thank you, Gail. I take back what I said. I don't wish I had. I could just look through the old catalogs and say I had that print. I, I don't need to save the tissue paper. I kind of need to save the tissue paper. Oh, we're just pulling them. Okay, what is this? This is a Vera Bradley hipster purse. I, this had some flaws on it. I disclosed them. It sold overnight. I'm so glad. To Sierra, she paid $18.99 minus 30% plus shipping. And she lives in, can you figure that out from this page? Probably not. Illinois. Well, so far, we've had a lot of people in the same states. See if that continues. Size. Not perfect size. Need a full sheet. And by that I meant we're gonna start with a full size and then cut it down. Because that's definitely too got in about a two hour nap today, which was perfect. I desperately needed it. Because I, <coughs> I think I was, it's definitely past midnight. I want to say it was closer to one o'clock until I was done. It might have been 1230 until I was done um, doing eBay. And then I had my alarm set because the window people, they had taken off an outside railing 
which I need a railing. I, I can't just walk up and down the stairs. We all know that. <laughs> Broken ankle or whatever will happen. Um, and just, they should replace it. So they put out the railing today. But when they say they come, they always come. They're a fantastic company. This isn't long enough. Um, but I never know if they're going to come at like 8 o'clock or 11 o'clock or 3 o'clock. So I wanted to at least leave the back back when I open, but I didn't want to do it all night. So I had to, I had to get up, do that whole thing. And then I went back to sleep for like 20 minutes, which wasn't very good. Not complaining. I know there's a lot of people out there that, that don't get nearly enough sleep. We haven't done this one yet. This is Starry Night, I think. I think Starry Night. Satellite's version of it. That's the blues. But like I said, this sold really quickly, even with some distressing. I'm sure I got it at the bins. And I realized when I was looking it up, the solid colors always help me sell Bear Bradley. And it was, of course, like that denim solid. But it had RF. D-I-R-F-I-D protection. So maybe that's what helped. I don't know. Okay, that was 11. And I'm going to say this is an 8 by 10, definitely. By 2. <coughs> 532. My water is right over there. So I'm going to print this and then reach right past you and get my water. Thank you to Sarah. <coughs> What's this? Oh, this is a flax item. I did get this at the bins a while ago, but I just put it back on. It's such a pretty piece. I would have kept this for myself in a heartbeat if this would have. I really tried to make this work for me. Um, it just wasn't my size. Flax, if you didn't know, does pretty well. And this was a large, it was like a really pretty kind of purplish grayish color. I steamed it for the photos. It looks so pretty. I think I did. I hope I did. Maybe I did. It's a hundred percent linen. I am in my linen phase of life. Actually, my pants are linen. My top is cotton. But, um, just wrinkles so easily. And I am not a person to be steaming anything in real life. I had to cough and get it coughed up. I'm back. Anyway, yes, Beth is a um, repeat customer, it looks like. So she lives in, this page doesn't say it. <laughs> Some of the pages say it, I swear. She lives in Pennsylvania. Bear and I keep talking just because he's not feeling great. He's feeling better, but not great. But you don't feel great and feel like something there's there's something you can do to just like get away from it all but you don't realize you have to take your body with you <laughs> you're like well maybe if we just hit the road and drove north then i'd feel better somehow it doesn't logically make any sense but him and i have both been in places where you just really don't feel well and your body hurts or whatever you just i think getting back to like a simpler time would just magically fix things it doesn't nothing magically fixes anything at least not that we could do or buy um let's see which haven't we used yet maybe we i'm not sure we've used this this is from um pack and ship you pack and ship 
She's one of my favorite companies. They have such nice mailers. And on eBay, I don't know if she's running a sale, but I ordered several hundred dollars and they were about $10 for a hundred. And that's shockingly low for her. Cause her, her quality is really, really good. She's been at it. Her name is Corey um, for years. She's been in the business. She does such a nice job. Okay, eight ounces. What was I saying? I can't remember. Okay, 10 by eight by two, that one is okay. Did I say what she paid? I probably didn't. Let's go back screen. Okay, she paid $34 plus shipping. That was an offer I sent to her, so there was no discount. You can't discount and pretend I remembered what that was. You can't discount and do a best offer. eBay won't allow a discount on a best offer. Okay, that was eight ounces. So four forty-three and purchase. So Bear and I have been talking about maybe going back up north to Pennsylvania, driving sometime this spring, next spring, a spring and seeing. I would love to see people again. He would love to see people again. When we moved here, I was in a wheelchair. I was really not doing well. I've gotten better, not all the way better, but um, we would try to take maybe three days. Thank you, Beth. And go up there and see his sister in Georgia and then my sister and my mom and then head to like the Johnstown, Pittsburgh-ish area and see everybody over there and then come back and make me, I don't, I don't know how long, <laughs> we'll have to do a trial run, especially if it's this year. It doesn't have to be this year. It's just something we've been talking about for almost every year since I've felt slightly better. To all of the papers. I'm going to do the, the cat print. It's my favorite tonight. We have good neighbors here who would check in on our place if we needed to. I don't know. In theory, we absolutely want to do it. We have some friends who are struggling up north who we'd like to see. I just don't know that we can do it right now. We can't right now, but in two months, maybe. Okay. Did I even say what that was? <laughs> I don't think I said what that was. There, Bradley, it was a cross, well, it wasn't a crossbody. It was a wallet that had um, a crossbody strap that I paired it together. I'll show you a picture. She paid $17 and that was a best offer plus shipping. This is Laura. And she's in Georgia. This might be the end of the pink ribbon. I don't think that's enough pink ribbon. So we will we will move on till the plug come in. It's like a raffia. <clears throat> But since I had the strap and the wallet, I figured I would pair them together. And I think that, that helped, that helped itself. There was not another one in that configuration in existence. I don't know, on eBay maybe. We have a lot of Christmas in here. Have I not done this since Christmas? We will use the citrus. in Georgia. They're just too warm for the winter ones. Look at her citrus one. So 18 by 18. I know I didn't put in 18 by 18. Um, it was a really nice wallet. Okay. 507 is the purchase price for the shipping label. It is really heavy, oddly enough. Print. And print. And print. 
it. Thank you, Laura. to this tiny little, I found this on the side of the road while walking, probably a year ago, but I just listed him again. His is original sticker, Shawnee. He's a little squirrel. He's so cute. He's so cute. And he finally sold, I think I sent a best offer, Michael. It's a seven, $17, but still I got him for free. I kept him for about two years. When we knew we were going to start to move last December, so over a year ago, I, I really started to either sell things off or actually I can put them in a box. I think I have boxes. I found a box. Um, I take things off. We had to start staging the house. I wanted the, the best possible outcome for the value of the house. So we got a storage unit and started taking things out and when things would sell we'd go to the storage unit and I'd have a longer handling time and it was a lot of work for Bear and for me. And then we thought we sold the house to a veteran and very last minute, I think the day of closing, the day before closing, um, it didn't work out. Nothing on anybody other than the lending company. That looks nice. I think I'll be okay. I'm going to put a little bit more padding in there. And so we had to relist the house again. And it sold immediately again. And then those people... We're going to take out a mortgage. And then finally they just said we're going to pay cash for it and we were thrilled because the closing from December through April, it was just chaos living, living there. Not having all of our stuff in one spot. I can't even imagine how people do that with dogs and that's this one. Um, jobs and ours was stressful but I'm sure it was a lot more stressful for a lot more people I'm not saying that so then we closed in April and didn't have a house to move into right away so we had to rent so then our stuff was still in storage and a rental and then we moved into this house which was all of their stuff and then we had a storage unit probably for another three months of all the stuff that needed done with this house so all of that to say <laughs> i have no idea all the stuff that was listed came off because going to a storage unit is especially one that used to be closer to that house and not that they were that far away now but still with traffic sometimes it takes traffic is getting really bad here look how pretty this is is a good color pairing here. I like this very much. So 17 plus shipping. And where do you live, Michael? Do you live in a cold state? Nebraska, I would say yes. Okay. Now this is like really in there. I'm 99% sure we're gonna be okay in a poly mallard. Does it have to be a big poly mailer? Let's see, let's, let's pick a cheetah one since you're on top. Might have to be. Oh, perfect. I'm sure it's a mug box or something, but I have a bunch of them. It is very good to have everything we own. Let me think about it for a second. Yes, under this house. Seven ounces. 
and I'm going to say this is probably a six by six by six box. Probably check that, but I don't think it's going to matter. Actually, like a five by five, but that's fine. Okay. Not one pound, one ounce. Seven. Seven ounces. There we go. Okay, four dollars and forty-seven cents. We probably still have about 10 items and then we have a website order and I know somebody emailed me about tissue paper or poly mailers or something. So I'll get back to them tonight. They said it was no hurry, but it wasn't a tissue paper emergency. I would be set if they only needed maybe one to 2000 sheets. Michael gets two stickers. Thank you, Michael. I think we're going to be okay. Okay. We have a lot of jewelry. And I think we're going to do Kelly next. Kelly ordered um, this bear, which is bear's nickname. Um, King premium bed skirt in like a bluish color. And um, this is the original. Maybe. I don't know why this was here, but we're using that. And a keychain, which I have right here. It's a little dog. It's very cute. A little rhinestone dog. I'll have to insert a photo. Now, I have very tiny boxes. Kelly is a repeat buyer. She hasn't seen my new fun packaging. So I think we're going to wrap this in, in my new fun packaging. So we will wrap that first. And then put that in there. And then when you get it, it looks like you could just tear it off. But if you want to keep the new fun packaging, you can. It's made, um, Sticker Mule, I think, sells it, and they have, like, a discount on it, and you can design it, and they were using it for, like, nuts and things. If you sold nuts, you could put all the nutritional value, but I don't sell nuts. Did you think I sold nuts? You didn't. I was like, oh, that's just as cute to me as a small box. And about the same price, so I wanted to try it. I want to try everything. Sometimes I'm too tired to try everything. But in theory, okay, I think this will fit this package. Yep. Perfect. Did she pay for this? This wasn't a super pricey item, but it was brand new, and I thought somebody else could re reuse it. Just use it. Eight dollars for the bed skirt, but then she had to pay shipping, and I'm sure I charged probably. Well, let's see, nine ninety nine, eight ninety five, and then she paid six dollars for the keychain, and I already refunded her on shipping since she paid the shipping on the bigger item. Somebody asked me if you could use tissue paper to decoupage. Yes. My mom um, taught us how to decoupage with magazines, which were much thicker. And yes, you can absolutely decoupage with tissue paper. There's a gazillion uh, videos on how to do it. Good. Uh, we will use the plum. Don't. <laughs> I saw 
saw a TikTok the other day where somebody was on a commercial plane and they were knitting or crocheting and their yarn ball unwound <laughs> like down <laughs> the corridor. Corridor? No, when you're sitting on a plane, the aisle. The aisle is probably what it's called. And people are being so helpful. I love helpful people. That's my favorite thing to watch on, on TikTok. Just like random acts of human kindness. And she was like, oh, I lost my thing. And everybody on the, the aisle row was like spooling it up and handing it to the next person. I thought that was the sweetest. Okay, Kelly, where do you live? I should know. I haven't Googled your address, I swear. Um... New York and okay so it's two different packages so you are going to get those cards on that one and now which cards are you going to get maybe those cards maybe these cards maybe the penguin and the day you plant the seed card on the other one And just tuck this in here. Good. Now we probably will need a bigger poly mailer for this. What bigger poly mailers do I have? A lot of small ones. This one's a bigger one. It is by U Pack and Ship. It's like a desert. I think this is a bigger one. Yes, it is. I think it's closer to three pounds here. pound mark just under so two pounds and this is a 14 by 12 by 4 let's go with let's go with three does it matter if it's four I don't think it does no 784 such a nice flat package very rarely do I have like nice flat packages. Looks very packagey. Print. Print. Thank you, Kelly. Got a nice pile over there. It says I still have 10 items. Now I need it to copy that tracking, but the bras, the tracking is there and it still shows that. Stacy, you did not get any other items. Nope. Why, why didn't that take? You didn't like my tracking number. I printed you through the system. Okay, but let's copy the keychain over to the bed skirt. They made this slightly easier too. There's now an ad tracking underneath. Now I have um, an HP, so if you have an Apple system, it might look different. Okay, so bed skirt should disappear. It did, the bras also disappeared weird. Okay, Beth, Sharon, 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 Tammy, Vicki, Sarah, Rose. Okay, so Beth only ordered one item. And it's jewelry. Here it is. It is a freshwater long pearl necklace with a blue tassel. Okay, just do one of those. Or you could just tuck the tassel down. I could probably even knot it. Could I knot it? Yeah, you totally knot it. Um, Beth has purchased from me before. 
Oh no. I feel like I just had that statement said. I just said that step statement. Beth has purchased from me before. Did we have Beth already? Beth, you got the flax top. Well, now, <laughs> that's my own fault. Beth's sitting at home going, ah, uh, you're gonna package my second item, right? Okay. Well, Beth, we need to package your second item. That's not gonna be long enough. This will be long enough. So, <laughs> when this happens, because clearly it just happened, keep those as straight as possible. But it's not as straight as possible. Um, we're gonna open up the flax top. Try to keep those pieces of leather fairly straight in there. Um, and I'm going to guess we're going to have to avoid the label. That's just a guess because this should add some weight to it, which will probably make the shipping costs go up. Let's see if this fits in there. Perfect. I'm going to do it anyway. remember which card she got. I'm going to have to open it anyway. So it's just a fun, a fun bonus game. Um, she is in all around Pennsylvania. Like we just did her. Okay. Let me go find that. Let's see what, oh, no, that's the same, same packaging. Okay. So she had the, you are enough and We'll give her the other two cards. And when I say two cards, I have more cards over there. These are just the ones I pulled. Okay. So I put that this was eight ounces. I need to put a poly mailer on top. I'm just going to grab this one for now. Eight ounces. So if this is still eight ounces, it's 8.8, .8, so it's nine ounces. So we are going to void probably the same price to be fair, but I don't want anybody to have to pay an extra quarter or whatever when it gets there. Usually that doesn't happen. They'll just bill me. Well, we are waiting for that. We'll get a more fun poly mailer. Sorry about that, Beth. Well, those two pieces, the flax and the pearls will go so nicely together, I think. So we are voiding and you can print. I'm just going to put other, you have to choose an option. I'm going with other and I'm going back to the flex top and printing another label, which you can do. And I'm sure this still weighs about nine ounces unless this poly mailer was made of gold. It's not, it's 8.9, so nine ounces and measurements are same. 515, stick around the back. Okay, print. Print. Copy. 
let's go into our orders and go back to the pearl necklace. For Christmas, we gave our mail carrier a gift. Um, I know there's rules and regulations, so read your own regulations there, but we gave her a gift. And she wrote us a thank you card, which was so sweet. And she said she looked forward to, I might have said this already, but it's going to stick with me forever. She looked forward to picking up our mail because of all the fun packaging. Fun packaging. Okay. Now I might just have to do fun packaging for her. She's lovely. Truly. What? She just, she is so sweet. <laughs> I love her. Okay, Sharon, 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 Tammy, Vicki, Sarah, Rose. Okay, so let's do, and Beth is done. Thank you, Beth. Okay, let's do Tammy. Tammy has a necklace. I have had this piece. The jewelry I did not take off because we could carry it basically anywhere. This is such a pretty piece. This is such a pretty piece. Um, it sold for $53.92 minus 30% plus shipping. I'm, I'm going to try to get it up close, but I will put in a photo of it. Let's see. It's, it's not going to come off how pretty it is. It's got a lot of sparkles in there. Yeah, it's like translucent and a lot of sparkle. It just looks like an opaque stone there. It's, it's not opaque. It's really pretty. Um, and it's a designer brand called <laughs> French LES. I'll just write it on the screen. And I've had it listed for probably a year and a half. And they were selling like $80 or so. So I've had to lower it. I didn't have to lower it, but I did lower it. And it did sell. And she is in Michigan. M I Michigan. There's a few M states that are a little a little fishy. Um I think I'm gonna put it in a box. For no other reason than it's a really thin chain. really pretty in the box. <laughs> You're not going to be able to say, it, it looks really pretty in the box. That's it. Trust me. And so many times I think, oh, this is just going to fly off the shelves. And it totally doesn't. Oh, and this one's like a little envelope. Perfect. I even bought washi tape because I thought, so do stickers, I'll use washi tape, but stickers are so much easier. Okay, now let's use a tiny package. Do you have any tiny papers left? We do, birds. It's even a little big for that, but that's okay. See how fast the sticker is? Tape would not pack that fast. Plus, the stickers, you probably get a thousand stickers for seven bucks or so. That is not, not a good use of my time to be cutting tape. Okay, so I'm going to say this is probably three ounces. And she's in Michigan, which is cold. Just making assumptions here. Could be colder here than Michigan, but whatever. Michigan feels like a cold state right now. Sometimes my sister's like, it's blah, blah, blah here. And I'm like, it's colder here. So she's going to get a You Are Enough with Penguins and a You Are Enough Classic. Give her the fun stars. We have a smiley heart, 
Now I feel like I'm finally getting in the swing of things and we're at least halfway done. Two ounces, while well, it is a very light package. Two ounces, not 18 by 18 by 18. This is 10 by eight by two. Four eleven. Now let's pretend that I can really get this down because I really could get this down. I could get this down to a very small package. That's gotta be about a four by four. Would that make a difference? Four by four by two? It was four eleven, it does not. I think somebody said it needs to be 12 by 12 by, let's do 12 by 12 by eight. It is still 411. So is it a cubic? I think somebody said it's a cubic foot. So 12 by 12 by 12, no. Once I hit 13 by 12, well, I did not. 13 by 12 by 12. Whoa, suddenly went to $15, <laughs> yikes. Okay, well, we're not gonna, we'll keep it at eight by eight by two. So if you have a package that's 13 by 12 by 12, really try to shave an inch off. Because the price triples. And Tammy, thank you so much. I hope you love the necklace, it's so pretty. It's my kind of necklace if I wore a necklace. Somebody said I should wear earrings, which I appreciate. I have tried to pierce my ears I don't know how many times, too many times, not with probably within the last 10 years or so. Thank you, Tammy. Um, and they just close up. They just close up and I can do nothing about it. I swirl it. I do all of the maintenance. I twist those suckers every day. Sometimes not. Sometimes I've tried every combination of everything. My tissue just heals up. I would have to leave in the earrings 24 seven and I'm not great about I've left them in for weeks at a time, I'm, maybe months, maybe 10 to 12 weeks, a very long time, longer than anybody told me I had to, and they still closed up. Okay, so that's the earring story. That's why I don't wear earrings. The rest of the jewelry would just be crazy. I feel like all clunky and not myself. Let's do a bra. This is a Victoria's Secret bra that was just sent to me. You might have you might have seen it. It was the Victoria's Secret Lined Perfect Coverage, and I'm not going to say the size just in case somebody happens to know this random person. Um, and I'm going to pad the inside a little bit, like that. The cups are slightly wrinkled. I took photos of them. I said they were wrinkled. I overestimated the wrinkliness of them, but the outside was pretty smooth. So. I keep the air in the package and not make it 13 by 12 by 12. Don't do that. Let's take that off a little bit. And Sarah, and she purchased this for $16.99 minus 30% plus shipping. This is I think we're going to need a full piece. Are you a full piece? Yes. Um, and this is headed to New Mexico. Our first New Mexico of the night. I have been to New Mexico. It is gorgeous. Most states have gorgeous areas, to be fair. I have been to a singular state where I haven't found it gorgeous. Not the whole state. But New Mexico is a really pretty state. Watch this be 13 by 12 by 12. It's not 12 inches tall. Okay. So. We have a lot of this tissue paper. I must hold a lot of tissue of this specific tissue paper. Oh, I did package. Hoping now that I didn't, I didn't, I didn't seal it off. I'll show you. Uh, somebody ordered some poly mailers and some tissue paper. 
and I'll show you their package. I don't know why I just weighed that. There's still things to go on here. Doesn't matter what that weighed. And let's do the desert. Why oh, desert stickers? I don't use them very often. She lives in the desert, but, but that's okay. Do I have any more desert stickers? I thought I did. The desert, desert is calling and I must go. She probably lives in like a city. She does. It's not a huge city, but she does live in a city in New Mexico. It's okay. Go to the desert. And the desert mailer. Oh, and like the Southwest kind of rides. Wow. Will this fit in this mailer? That is going to be the question. I might need a bigger mower. Was not expecting that. Okay. Bigger mailer. Bigger than 12 by 15. Do I have any bigger than that? Here. Still the autumn. And then solid colors, which nobody's ever going to get. Those are like my backup emergency if I go through 4,000 poly mailers. This one's bigger. Are you also? You look bigger. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if you're bigger. You are bigger. So we can do the pink swirl. We're trying to do the desert theme, kind of. We weren't trying, we just accidentally did it, but now, nope. That's much easier. Okay. Holding that over. I would I would guess. I'm gonna guess this is probably 14. It's 12 by 12 by 5. We're okay. Also, I have um, an eBay store, so every quarter they give you coupons. My eBay store does. I don't know what to buy with the coupons anymore. I have so many things of shipping. I should send my mom there. <laughs> um, tape. I probably have, I have so much tape. And there's really nothing else fun. Their branding is not my favorite. Like imagine if it said, have a good day. I did just those eBay. Okay, so 12 by 12 by five and nine ounces. I don't necessarily need 4,000 stickers that say eBay. Uh, my cost is $5.45. And they have tissue paper, they have poly mailers. They're just boring. eBay, you've been around for a gajillion years. Get a graphic designer. I'm sure you have a graphic designer. Graphic designer, you're doing a great job. Just because it's not my style doesn't mean you are just not killing it with how graphically designed these are. These black and white eBay font stickers. I was being sarcastic. But truly, that is somebody's job, so. Can we make them a little better, a little different? Thank you so much. Okay. Next. There were bras on this list, I swear, I have them here. They are now not on the list. Where, where did they go? I'm going to go through my sold items through my store, pretending I'm a customer, and I'm typing in bra. I know I sold them. <gasps> did I get a negative feedback? Oh, I think I got a negative feedback. Oh, how interesting. I got a negative feedback. When did this happen? Today? It said they didn't receive the necklace. What necklace? Oh, I'm so curious now. Okay, where can I see where this passed a month? We got, it just doesn't have passed a month. 
sold. Sounds like she needed feedback on a pet and like within the last day or two. Whoa, reach out to her. Huh. Maybe she didn't receive it. Oh, that's so weird. I thought 100% feedback was so one negative feedback. I sold a bajillion items. Took me down to 99.4. Oh, I'm so curious now. Okay. Let's go into bras. We are not going to let that ruin anything because maybe I deserved it. Maybe she truly didn't get it. Okay, and sold. And here they are. Yeah, I don't know what happened to them in the list. It is a bunch of bras that were all about the same size. I'm going to want, do I have, I do. We'll check on the necklace a little bit later. Maybe, it looks like, I think I just sent that to her too. Maybe it got lost in the mail, maybe she didn't message me, so who knows. Could absolutely be my fault. Okay. okay. okay with that. That's going to be too small. Let's get a bigger sheet. Got to take these things in stride sometimes. And if I have a negative feedback, I have a negative feedback. I couldn't have 100%, 100% of the time. I'm human. So this sold for, let's see what this sold for. It says $31.99. I don't think so. It sold for $21. I sent them an offer and then they paid $9.99 plus sales tax. So they paid $32, about sorts of fun ribbons, but for some reason we really went hard on, and, and I pulled brown. I don't know what brown is much. Maybe the birds. Brown. I'm going to guess this weighs maybe two pounds. It will give you, where are you first of all? Let's get back to this. Well, I will. You are in Wisconsin. I don't think we had another Will on the list. Somebody else was in Wisconsin, but I don't think it was Will. No. Okay. We will give you the classic and the You Are Enough. Now, this is a pretty big package. As we know, the one bra did not fit. So. We're just going to go straight to the swirly pink one. Let's see if that fits. There we go. I guess one to two. Did I already guess that? I think I did. Yeah, it's about one and a half, just over. And I'm going to say it's about the same. It might be slightly longer. So I'm going to go 13 or 14. 13 by 12 by the highest point is 6. We're okay. That 13 by 12 scared us there for a second. Okay. And my cost is... Oh, something happened. Six dollars and sixteen cents print and print. Thank you, Will. Little green sticker for you. 
going to have to schedule pickup. In fact, I'm going to stop and do that now because, oh, it's only really, it's not that late. I could schedule pickup for at least another hour. We have Rose with a necklace. Did anybody buy this necklace? I think somebody did. I like that necklace, Rose. This necklace. Rose got this purple gemstone necklace. It looks, at least the chain looks to be, um, it's a longer chain. Looks to be vintage. It's a 30 inch chain. And she paid, how much did she pay? Rose paid $11. Now that was an offer I sent, so she actually paid $11. And I'm going to drop the chain through the little foam thing. And then put the crystal there. She paid shipping for it and taxes. Let's cut that in half. Because we have a bunch of jewelry coming up and we can use part of that. My middle name is Rose. So if I like the cat print, she has to like the cat. Bear and I have been watching, when he feels good enough, um, a show, what was it called? Oh, it'd be good when I start my stories if I had an ending. It's like Millionaire House Hunters. I don't think that's what it's called. Though. It might be called that. It has a host called Viviana something with a V. Again, not helpful. It is on Hulu, and there are seven or eight seasons, and the budget's... No, it was filmed before the pandemic, so I realize housing prices aren't the same. But let's give her a full sheet now. Um, the budgets are all over a million dollars, sometimes up to, I think somebody had 20 or 40. They're the same in my brain. <laughs> if you have 20 or if you have 40 million dollars, you're looking at the same kind of house in my brain. I know that's not true. But so many of the houses, and they're all in California. Like, same general area of California too, like Venice, Encino, they're all like LA kind of without being in LA, which is very odd, but tells me the budget for production, even though it's on Hulu, I don't think it's part of the House Hunters, I could be wrong, um, franchise. They didn't want to fly like videographers or anything around. Oh, this one is spot on. Three ounces, I don't have to change the package details at all. So this is three dollars and eighty six cents, um, but like now we're like, oh, the golden triangle of wherever it is, Venice. We're like, oh, and so few of them have elevators, and they're so tall because they're built into a hillside for the most part. There's a few in like Malibu or the hills of California. That's all I know about California. There's the bra again. We shipped you. Go away, bra. Okay. Let's go on to Sharon. She has one, two, three pieces. Those pizza bras are still there. So she has three pieces. One, that has nothing in it. Where did the other pieces go? Did I even take them out? Two. We will use this bag. And what was the other piece? I just saw it. We can do it, we can do it. It's red. This one I was just like, oh, it's sitting here. 
Okay. She got a Lilia Sophia necklace. It's a multi strand. It's kind of clearish, really pretty. And a Serafina golden necklace. Link Cheney. And then a red, what did I call this one? Seed bead chunky necklace. Gold 19 to 22 graduated looped. Oh, I think I just listed this one. Is it? So she has three necklaces. A couple of these will fit in boxes. I'm wondering if they're red, because it's not going to get tangled. I'll put that in there. I think I like that. That one is such a bulky necklace, it's not going to get tangled. Okay, I'll use that for that. I need bigger boxes. I need bigger boxes. Somebody put that on my list. I used to have, oh, I have bigger boxes. I have bigger boxes. <laughs> get tangled. It's not, not really a tangly necklace. Use a little bit of brown ribbon so we can say we use the brown ribbon. Three necklaces. Oh, look how cute that looks. Um, I'm going to check on my husband. I think he's okay and just on the phone, but I like to check. He's okay. This one could get a little tangly, but again, it's not really a fine gauge chain. the box. There we go. I have blue ribbon. Maybe for the last order. I use blue ribbon. inside that. We will bubble wrap foam the outside of this. Okay, we will use the cats on the bag. Little pink smiley face. washi tape would, would take longer. If I had it maybe pre-cut. Such a cute washi tape. I'm sure somebody sent it to me. That didn't take too long. This little watermelon washi tape. Okay. Plum. Because the blue doesn't really match. It's more of like a blue and brown braided vine-like. Not the vibe we're going for. I 
wonder what time I have to wake up tomorrow to go to Sarasota. I'm filming it on my phone. Or I would check. I'm going to assume it's not super early. We try not to schedule appointments of any kind during traffic. But sometimes you just can't avoid it. I feel like we moved inland and then they started building giant bridges like right after we signed paperwork. It wasn't, it wasn't like that, I'm sure, but nobody's following our every move and building giant bridges, but. We did go a little bit inland for an appointment the other day and I was like, oh, this is so nice. And there's like, this is what it was like where we live now, like a year ago. And I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, Florida's being built up all the places. Okay. Now, Sharon has been a repeat buyer for a while. Let's give her this one. And she is in Pennsylvania. I've never heard of this town. Which, I mean, I haven't heard of all of the towns in Pennsylvania, but we went to Pennsylvania I worked in Pennsylvania, and my mom's in Pennsylvania, and I went to college in Pennsylvania, and Bear Grove in Pennsylvania. So, it's a lot of towns in Pennsylvania. i this is a smaller one. I'm not going to Google. <laughs> don't, don't everybody get... But I do want to see the population in... Um, because there's very few places in Pennsylvania I don't know. switch to advanced and just do the zip code because that'll give me a better idea of the population. I won't say it out loud, don't worry. Just in case you live in a town of like 52. It's a smaller. You live in a smaller part, which is probably very nice. And despite, well, just because of the weather, not despite the weather, we would move back to Pennsylvania. We totally would. We loved Pennsylvania. Okay, switch back to basic. And edit. 10 ounces. And it defaulted again to one by one by one. So this is probably a 10 by eight by four or three. Um, it's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold in Pennsylvania. Shoveling snow off of the roof so it didn't collapse and probably wouldn't have collapsed, but it was so much snow. It's always so much snow. Not always. Like definitely November through February, March, October. It's just so cold. And then I get warm like May, warmish. And then June and July, August, we were okay. And then no, not so much. Very pretty, that was so pretty. Okay, thanks Sharon. We will copy your tracking number. I think I refunded everybody. I can do that from bed. So that's one of my bed jobs when I'm not feeling well enough to do actual like things outside and walking around and moving around a lot. I, I create bed jobs for myself. I can move around but really can't get like on the floor or bend. I can't stand for a lot of times. I have a lot of different things for a lot of different ways I'm feeling. That way I can stay productive as much as possible. Okay, I did refund you um, for the other two pieces, which is good. And I didn't say how much you paid for anything. You paid five to nine dollars, maybe, for each piece, it looks like. Okay, let's update this. The bra's still there. It wasn't there in the last screen. Okay, now I have a blue salt. I have a lot of blue salt pieces on right now. I am 99% sure. Yeah, this is the one. Um, I label my bags. So I put blue salt four, which is the size. It's like an extra, extra large. Um, I called it black, which threw me off. But the blue salt pieces, the black and blue, Unless you have them right next to each other. I mean like right next to each other. It's so hard. In this light it does look more blue though. I have been collecting blue salt, which is like a, I would say higher end brand, but I know it's all 
in, you know, whatever. Some people consider, I would say, consider Gap a higher end brand at this point. Have you been to Gap? I haven't, but I've looked online. It's, it's very pricey. Um, so Blue Salt sells for retail. They have sales all the time for like 40, 50% off. This was probably like 250. For a hoodie, that's really pricey for a lot of people. It's made in the USA of premium recycled bark. I don't know. I, I, in my brain, I know, but you get it. It's, it's like a really good, and I own Blue Salt and I've worn Blue Salt a gajillion times and it washes beautifully and I've been collecting it anytime it's anywhere for any amount of price I've been collecting it and saving it saving it and finally I listed all of my blue cells that I wasn't keeping I kept probably about four pieces but when you could get it for like 10 to 15 dollars which I was totally doing um this one sold for 60 minus 30 percent plus shipping so i've been making a profit on it and i probably have about 10 more pieces to sell but it's selling fast and i knew it would it's good stuff one of my doctors i probably mentioned this story a while back asked for ideas for gift ideas for his wife and i typed out a ton of ideas and not just all material ideas, but like acts of service and like have your kids write what they like about her and put it in a jar, take her on a photo shoot. She loves horses and after the photo shoot, like stage her on horses, go horseback riding, but like he did the whole thing. He loved it. He, he still loves the list. He mentions it way too much all the time. But Blue Salt was on the list as one of the items he could purchase. And I didn't know his budget. So I tried to do like $50 to thousands of dollars. Like Hermes, for example. I figured she, she would appreciate that and know that name. And they hold their value and maybe she would just want a bracelet or something. I, I didn't know her. I don't know her. I don't know her style. But I figured he hopefully would. So he bought Blue Salt and he said how much she loved it. And my mom was here and right around the holidays and she was holding my laundry for me. Thanks mom. And she's like, what's this? And I'm like, oh, that's Blue Salt. And then she's like, there's another thing that feels like this. I'm like, yeah, that's Blue Salt. So it's very comfy, cozy. It's somebody who has some issues with fabric. It's very nice. That's my blue salt story. So I've started to sell it off. I still have, like I said, maybe 10 more pieces. And a few people bought multiple pieces. And didn't leave me negatives. Okay, so that is going to be over a pound. I was gonna say, I think it needs a bigger bag, but it doesn't. It's fine. So we're going to rounds up to two. This is the last eBay purchase, but I'll show you what I packaged in somebody's website order. And this is probably 12 by 10 by three. And ship two is very odd. Maybe not. Maybe it just looked odd on the other page. Yeah, maybe it was just on the other page. Okay, now I have to go back to basic shipping and probably do all that again. Yeah, it defaulted again to one by one. Okay, well, at least we figured it out. What did I say this was? 12 by 10 by, not one, 10 by five, I have no idea. It's all the same. Okay, $7.16. Nope. Don't, I don't want the QR code. Stop putting that in blue. This is headed to Vicky in Texas. And that was my last eBay order. 
wasn't a smiley face. A smiley face over here. Thank you, Vicki. Okay. Now, I already packaged this, which was dumb, but I didn't fold it over the package. So, I do need to log into my Gmail and Pirate Ship. Gmail. Is it that Gmail? I have two Gmail accounts. It is not that Gmail. Pizza Hut keeps trying to have me order pizza. What is your newest deal, Pizza Hut? I can't eat Pizza Hut. Three days of 40% off. 40% off a large menu priced pizza. I want that. I can't have that. I don't know. I know how I got on Pizza Hut's mailing list. I need to take myself off, but I'm not going to do that now. Okay. My FabFitFun order is still on the move. My sister got hers like two weeks ago. Um, we expect that you should see movement on your tracking within one week. So it could take up to two weeks to arrive. It's no big deal. Here we go. Here's my order. She ordered 120 poly mailers and 50 sheets of tissue paper. So here. And then I was throwing a little bit extra, so she got some cards. Here are the poly mailers, and she got between four or five of each because I had so many that I wanted to share with her. So should I just go through really quick? Roses, hibiscus, like a floral bloom, ice creams, rainbows, different roses, pineapples, citrus, yellow dandelion, yellow mumps, I don't know. Succulents, this one says I believe in unicorns. It's like a watercolor. Uh, cactus in a blue. The frogs, a lime floral, classic gingham. Cheetah, elephants, the more artistic uh, night sky. Blue daisies. I only did one or two of um, these. I don't think she got any pink zebra. Tie-dye. Uh, this one is like a childish one, so I only gave her one of those. And um, butterfly. Now, those were all of the 12 by 13 mailers, so there's 100 plus a few extra in there. And then the cards. And then the bigger poly mailers went in here. She got a few extra fun free surprises, some boxes for fun, ribbon, and again, some just extras for fun cards. Thank you cards. These were in the house when we moved in. So I've just been giving them to people for free. They're not fun, but they're padded. Okay, now these are the larger size. Um, she got 20 of the larger size in that pack. It's $28 for a hundred of the regular size poly mailers and 20 of the bigger ones. She got a few more bigger ones, but these are ghosts, but they're really, really big. Thank you, black. I'm showing you them in half. The desert, what you've seen. Thank you, pink. The kind of autumn kind of floral. The yellow, but bigger and the yellow dandelion but bigger so those were the bigger ones and like i said those were all 20 dollars for 120 with the shipping for her. give her some twist ties some ribbons some extra plastic bags just a couple of them Okay, then she ordered tissue paper, uh, 50 sheets. You've mostly seen this tissue paper, I'm pretty sure. Uh, pineapples. The, I forget if this is mint or turquoise. Uh, marble, 
This one is inside out. You've seen me use it. It's the bloom. This one's inside out. I didn't have it tonight. Uh, the oranges, the birds, the classic mask. Again, inside out. This one's like a pale aqua floral. The Southwest. You have the cats. One or two sheets. I think this is two sheets of banana. I don't, not everybody loves banana. A few extra sheets of the floral bloom and then just a couple sheets of the ties. That was the 50 plus pieces. And then she got a few of my new packaging, eye masks, a sticker, and some more stickers. Come on, stickers. So that was all of the fun things. We'll let her discover that. And now I need to print it. This might put the other way better. That way we don't get wrinkled. There we go. I'm glad I left that open. And then I put it just in the solid green mailer. Should I put it in a different mailer? All the green sounds so boring. Let's see if I can fit it back in here. If I can't, I'll go with a bigger mailer. tape, one of my mini rolls here. I'm going to guess this is heavy. Uh, maybe six pounds? Is that a good guess? I don't know. Ooh, five, ten. Five pounds, ten ounces. Will I be able to remember my password without logging into Dashlane? I should log into Dashlane. I'm saying Dash Lane. If you don't know. I know there's other password keepers, but I use Dashlane. It's just easier. Um, pirate ship. Pirate ship. Searching, no search results. Did I recently change my password? I feel like I did. I did. Oh gosh. And I didn't put it into Pirate Chip. <laughs> what would I change my password to? Huh. Well, that's a conundrum for a different day. Should I just change it again? Should I just try? It says I just changed it. Why would have I changed it? I might have been on my phone. That's usually why I change my password. I'm not close to my computer. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not in there. Okay. That's, that would have been it. Oh no, that was it. Okay, well, maybe I didn't change it. That was weird. So her address, this is headed to Lynn in Idaho. Paste address. Good. And her email is good. Okay. Now I need to make sure I'm shipping from the new address. And it is a padded envelope, which is 15 by 12. And it 
is six pounds rounded up. Let's see what this is. $13.17 for priority and buy and label. Purchase and download label and print. Let's see if this prints to the right printer. Looks like it's going to. Looks like it's going to. Did it not? Let's change the label shape. It's the same label, but what happened there? <laughs> I can print it to my regular printer. Oh. Okay. I'm going to get two of them now. And not that I would need to mark that one void, but I am because just in case I find that the garbage. Thank you, Lynn. I'm going to carefully set that because it weighs so much. Okay. I know I have an email about something. She said it was no big deal, so I read through it quickly. Here it is. She's asking, hi Cheryl. She was watching my unboxing the other day. Oh, do I not have inspirational cards on my site? Okay, here's my website. Oh, I do have inspirational cards on my site. Okay. Um, before I go and order some, I wanted to check with you, see what you have for upcoming seasons. If I have any spring and summer papers yet. Oh, fun. That'll be a fun email. And then I will write back the person who left me a negative and see if there's anything I can do and check in on that. If I have a negative, I have a negative. It's not the end of the world. Um, we do the best we can and sometimes we screw up and she's also a seller so it's weird she didn't contact me but she didn't so I'll contact her and thank you so much for shipping with me I hope you very much enjoyed it I have no idea how long this took I'm guessing probably two hours and take care I will hopefully see you soon and soon hopefully I'll be thrifting so maybe I'll have a thrift haul for us probably in March to be fair Take care. Bye.